Hi, I'm Andy Doster, proud principal of Davis Elementary School here in the Centennial School District. Hi, I'm Mr. Ortiz, proud principal of McDonald Elementary School. Hello, I'm Kathy Perkins, the proud principal of Willowdale Elementary School. We want to welcome everyone to the 2020-2021 school year. This school year, we will begin our year differently with students learning virtually. Our teachers and staff have been working throughout the summer to plan a robust virtual experience for our students. School begins on September 1st at 8.45 a.m. for all students. Please be sure to check your email, the school's website, Facebook, and Twitter pages regularly over the next few weeks for important information. We want to start this year strong with every student having a successful learning experience. The administration and staff are here to support you and your families to ensure that our students are engaged in learning and attaining the necessary foundational skills this year. Today's video is designed to provide parents and students with a closer look at the virtual program and outline the expectations for teachers, students, and parents as we move forward. The expectations this year were developed as a result of parents, student, and teacher feedback from the spring. This feedback drove the focus on the following three components that all stakeholders identified as vital for successful online learning. The first is communication. The second is student-teacher interaction and engagement. And lastly, support. These will be highlighted throughout the video presentation. First, let's take a look at the student expectations. In addition to general student expectations, we will cover attendance, assignments and grading, and proper use of technology. Attendance is key, especially with online learning. Parents, it is important for students to keep up with the virtual school schedule. Online learners will be held to the same attendance standards followed in the traditional school setting. All online learners must follow the Centennial School District attendance policy. Attendance will be taken at the beginning of the day in morning meeting and monitored throughout the school day. If a student is absent, parents are required to call the office or send an excuse note within 72 hours per Pennsylvania Department of Education guidelines. Without daily consistent participation in online learning, a student will very quickly find himself or herself behind the pace of the curriculum and struggling to catch up. Getting behind will make transitioning back to the brick and mortar classroom very difficult. Online courses will contain the same rigor and expectations of traditional brick and mortar classrooms. The teacher will evaluate and provide feedback on assignments and assessments. Screening of students and administration of benchmark assessments will take place in the virtual classroom. Teachers will use this information to gauge where your student skill level falls in reading and math so that they can differentiate and individualize learning for each student in their room. The teachers will provide more information on how they will evaluate and grade the student work in their Google Classroom and at your school's virtual back to school night. So boys and girls, for you to be successful during our virtual learning, we'd like for you to stick to a daily routine and the learning schedule that your teachers provide you. Work in a designated learning space away from distractions and be an active learner. Let your teacher know if you need help and follow netiquette when you're working online. Expectations for student interaction virtually with other students and staff is the same expectation as is in the classroom. Stay focused on the topic being discussed. Use respectful behavior and language. Be sure to wear school appropriate clothing if you're video conferencing. Be honest and do not copy others' work as your own. And show consideration for others by muting unless called on by your teacher. Participate in morning meetings every day and check your daily post on Google Classroom from your teachers. Parent and student tutorials have been shared in previous e-alerts. These tutorials and resources provide detailed instructions on logging onto your device as well as how to use the various tools that the students and teachers will be using. A school device is available so that all boys and girls will have access to all of the resources and learning tools necessary to complete assignments. As an online learner, a student's iPad or Chromebook is their lifeline to an education. Without a working device, communication with the teacher will be severely limited, therefore adversely affecting a student's learning. Parents, please talk with your child about taking proper care of his or her device. Students shouldn't be eating or drinking around the device and always keeping it in, the, in its protective case. Chromebooks should be charged at all times. Letting the charge run down will result in the Chromebook not being fully functional. More information will be forthcoming regarding technology support for our devices. The district website will also house this information. When anyone engages online, it's essential that everyone behaves appropriately. 
Next, I will discuss teacher expectations. Teachers will communicate often, clearly, and consistently. They will be intentional and explicit about timing, pacing, and expectations. Our teachers will thoughtfully chunk new learning for students and give them time to process before adding more information. They may be including videos, notes, and slide decks of materials to help learn the content. You will also see them host virtual small group lessons and conference with the students. They will support students' connections with one another, ask students for feedback, and work with colleagues to share strategies that work. Each course will follow a similar format with announcements, a calendar, assignments, quizzes, tests, resources, questions, materials, and topics listed the same for all teachers to help you better understand course expectations. Those items can be found inside the Learning Management System, which is Google Classroom for elementary students. In regard to communications, teachers will send regular emails to parents of online learners, provide office hours to assist students with assignments as needed, and conduct video check-ins periodically to gauge student progress. As a parent of an online learner, you're always welcome to email your child's teacher for learning progress updates or check with your child's Google Classroom. We expect teachers to provide quality instruction to online learners just as if they were in the classroom. The following is a glimpse of what the virtual classroom will look like. The virtual school day will look similar to the brick and mortar school day. Teachers will share the virtual schedule for each grade level and they will be posted on each teacher's school website soon. Expect that students will have a combination of live instruction where the teacher is teaching a lesson, giving real-time feedback, providing small group instruction, and sometimes one-on-one -on -one instruction. Students will also have to work to complete on their own for practice and enrichment. The day will include a win time, which is what I need, where students will get extra help, receive intervention from a specialist or related services provider such as speech, OT, or PT. A 30-minute lunch period and a 30-minute recess period will also be included during the day. Short brain breaks are also embedded in the schedule so students can get up and away from a screen periodically throughout their day. All students will receive their special classes on a six-day rotation schedule. Classes will be a combination of live and work on your own assignments. The teacher will provide this schedule to your students. Teachers will hold office hours at the beginning and the end of the day for students who reach out for extra support. All elementary students will be provided with some printed instructional materials and additional pickup days may be scheduled pending parent need. Digital copies may also be found in the Google Classroom and may be printed out at home. Please be aware that the first few weeks of school may look a little different as teachers are working on social and emotional learning, building relationships, and teaching students to be successful in the virtual environment. In some classrooms during these early weeks, instructional time may be shortened so that teachers can meet one-on-one -on -one to get to know students. Teachers will communicate this information to the students and the families in the coming days. Parents, you will play a significant role in the success of your child's online learning experiences. Here are several tips that will help you set your child up for success for online learning. First, set up a space in the home with learning supplies and materials. Second, provide expectations of a schedule and structure for online learning. Third, assist your child with accessing online instruction. Fourth, monitor your child to ensure he or she is participating in online learning. Fifth, encourage your child to be engaged in online learning. Sixth, understand that online learning is different from in-school learning and flexibility will be needed. And lastly, reach out to your child's teacher for assistance when needed. We recognize that the support systems provided by the school district are vital to our families. We are committed to providing the same support services to our online learners as we do to traditional students. Contact information for your child's school counselor is available on our school's counseling webpage. School counselors are available to assist students and families in the following areas. Emotional support, academic progress, mental health, and 504 plans. I'm sure you have many questions. Your child's teacher is your first point of contact for any academic questions. Please contact them via email. For all other questions, you may contact your child's school by phone. Be sure to check your email for e-alerts and the school website regularly for updated information. Our schools also update our social media outlets like Facebook and Twitter regularly. So be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We thank you for partnering with us to continue the learning experience for your child. We appreciate your patience as we all strive to provide the best education for our students. Student and staff safety continues to be our top priority. 
We look forward to a fantastic year and seeing everyone online.